to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm going to show you a gift idea. Uh, the holidays are coming and um, usually I do homemade gifts and or uh, baked goods, you know, that kind of thing. And this year the number one gift idea out there is a consumable item. And so that means something that you would use and um, goes right along with the laundry soap I'm going to do. So um, I've got gift baskets I'm, I'm going to do up for you, um, give you some ideas. I may not, you know, wrap them up and stuff, but I will give you some ideas on what you could put together for gift ideas that would be reasonable um, and something that somebody can use. And so, anyways, I hope this brings you along for the ride. Um, I'm going to be using the Wild Tree products uh, for this gift basket. And uh, I really and truly, I think that there's such a great product line that uh, I'm going to share with my family and my friends. I did that last year and it was wonderful. They loved it. So that being said, I will post a link to that, uh, my website. So you can go over there and do some shopping if you like or sign up as a rep and get that uh, discount every time you walk in the door. I was talking to a client that she shops at Whole Foods and uh, I said, wouldn't you like to get 20% off of your shopping trip every single time you went in there and she said well yeah and I said well that's exactly what it is with wild tree so anyways uh, go over there and check it out and I'll uh, I'll also post this on my Facebook page so you can go over there too if you'd like see who else I'm watching see I posted a couple videos this morning of other people so you can kind of see and maybe go check out their channel all right guys let's do this okay guys here's a quick easy and an inexpensive idea for gift giving this year. Um, as a wild tree rep, I'm able to do this with some of the samplers, uh, but you could do, do it with the full size products as well. Um, I'm gonna use some of the full size products, but uh, like this is a, a small loaf of bread. Now this is the banana banana bread. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. Remember there's no preservatives. Uh, you preheat your oven to 325, Mix your mix with one egg, two tablespoons of melted butter, and a third of a cup of water. You can stir in fruit or chocolate chips if you like, um, and you bake it for 40 minutes. How easy is that? So instead of baking banana bread for your um, for your gift recipient, you can actually give them the opportunity to bake the bread and and be. Um, you know get all the glory at the table and then you can use one of the this is an apple cranberry jam you could use um, send them with that one of your homemade jellies and I just got this cute little pan, you know this little crock here for either to put your jelly in or just as a nice little vehicle really it's cute wrap it in some clear cellophane maybe um, maybe throw some uh, you could throw in some um, biscotti or something like that too. So it's more of a, a breakfast kind of thing. And then I like to pick up things. I like to go to the secondhand store or garage sales and pick up inexpensive items. Now this is a used um, loaf pan, but I'm going to give away the meatloaf mix. And so I really want it to be a, a cute little um tray to put it in there. Now I might even put a uh, dishcloth or something like that in there to include in the gift giving. So <clears throat> I'll just give you an example. I'm probably not going to give away my dishcloth, but you could buy really inexpensive holiday themed ones. Um, this is a wicked uh, slow cooker sauce. Here's a ginger salad dressing, um, ginger plum. Um, here's a smoky bacon flavored grapeseed oil, and then we have the zesty lemon. Both of those are my favorites. Okay, now we have dessert. This is a chocolate mousse um, mixture. It, it's just delicious. You mix it with some cream and whipping cream. Here's your meatloaf mixture, mom's, like mom's homemade mix. And we've got a beer bread I'm gonna tuck back here. Really and truly, here's a garlic galore dip mixture. And you have a meal from start to finish for somebody as a gift. And it's cute, it's, it's totally consumable, and they're gonna enjoy it and think of you every single time. So for really pretty inexpensively, you have uh, 
somebody's dinner, including dessert and a dip prior. And um, yeah, anyways, um, I hope you like this idea. I uh, This is what I'm going to be doing for the holidays. So when I do start making up baskets, I will um, bring you along for that ride. So get thinking about it. It's not that far away. It's going to be Thanksgiving before we know it, and then the rush is on. So these are fun to put together. I hope you go visit my Wild Tree page. You know, and not saying you have to go buy this from Wild Tree. You could do these types of items on your own as well from the regular grocery store. I just prefer to have the items that are not laden with preservatives and, um, and all that good stuff. So I personally would love to get that gift basket. That would be wonderful. All right, guys, I hope if you like this, you give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, go ahead and post it on your Facebook page. And I do want to let you know that I'll be uploading videos via my phone for a few days because we're going to be on our trip. And um, I couldn't quite talk my house sitter into editing and doing all that if I emailed him <laughs> my videos. So anyway, um, um, we're going to upload all the ones we do on the camera uh, after we get back from our trip, but I'll miss you guys. Anyways, that's part of why I've been gone is uh, trying to get ready. It's a lot of work to get ready to go play. All right, guys, I'll see you next time, and as always,